back for part three in my six part storytelling series. Last time I left off, I was talking about how I was living with family, how we were living together, and how each of our lives changed because of my brother passing away. So anyway, I want to talk about what happened after that, particularly 2007. But before I do that, I'll get a couple of things out the way. If you hear any rain in the background, like we're getting some rain, so it's really pouring outside, so I'll try to make sure I speak as loud and clear for you guys to understand. And secondly, I can't talk about the full story. I'm going to summarize this third part because there's a lot more I can say on that part because this part was a major turning point in my life. I will have the full story in a link down in the description in case you guys are interested in knowing the whole story. So with that out the way, let's get started with the third part of the story. So here we go. Uh, the last time I left off, I was talking about how my grandmother was taking care of children, babysitting pretty much. And I met Elijah and Zaya back in 2005. And I got to know them. I mean, I met friends through my grandmother babysitting. Out of all the kids that she took care of those two are probably the ones that I'm fond of the most they felt like they were like actual brothers and sisters to me and I got to know their mom I'm always excited whenever I see them and I share with them what I'm doing they play video games like Show them my favorite video games I play, like Onimusha, Don't Make Cry. They liked it for being at such a young age. They really liked it, and I was surprised. Well, anyway, I really got to know them, and I led them into my life. And the big change didn't happen until like 2007 when I was invited. Actually, their mom, Miss Jamika, invited me. She sent me an invitation to the party, October 27, 2007. One of my friends, who was district attorney, then turned judge later on, Judge Huey. He was one of my mentors. He was offering to take me to the Grambling game. I mean, it wasn't like the first time for me going to the Grambling game. I mean, I've been there a couple times. And Grambling's good. I had a decision to make whether to go to the Grambling game or go to Elijah's birthday party. I felt like since they were family, I decided to go with Miss Jamika, her sister, and the rest of the family. Judge Huey, one of the good male figures in my life. Anyway, here is the real story. I was waiting on them. It wasn't Miss Jamika that was gonna pick me up. It was her sister who was gonna pick me up. So I just waiting patiently, and probably around twelve, I wanna say. I think it was around twelve when she picked me up. I let my family know I was gone, and I was with Jamika's sister. I drove to Longview because she had an apartment over there. I had to pick up the supplies and everything for the party, right? And on the way, the car broke down and we had to find the nearest place where folks were. So we stopped midway. Now I was able to talk to her folks. 
And they're pretty nice. Make sure we were nice at home. And we just talked and watched TV. So, um, can't go wrong with that. We stayed there at least until we had the car fixed and somebody else was able to pick us up. The car got fixed. We told her folks that we were off and we walked over outside, right? Done, the car was fixed. We had more people to keep us company, which were like three other people. They were Elijah's cousins. After we got inside the car, we continued our road trip to Longview to her apartment. Talking to her cousins about Elijah and they told me that I was one of his best friends and that made me feel good and that I was one of his friends. We made it to the apartment. Since Jamika's sister didn't have the keys with her at the time, she had to find the keys to open up the apartment. While she was doing that, I was having fun with the cousins. We had a good time. She got the door to open. We picked up all the birthday stuff, loaded onto the car, and we drove up to the Longview Skateplex. For those who don't know what the Longview Skateplex is, it's pretty much a skating rink for people in Longview. There might have been more, but that was the one that I'm familiar with. Okay, so after using the directions, we made it to the skating rink. Elijah's cousins asked that they wanted to do a competition, right? See who was the best at roller skating. Well, you know what, me being a carefree, easygoing person, I said, you know what, I like the challenge, so. I took on the challenge. Once we got our roller skates, we were gonna skate as much as we can. And actually, there were two reasons why I went to the party. I wanted to spend time with Elijah and Zaya and their family because I felt like they were like part of my family. And two was to make new friends. But come to find out, I didn't have to look around to find new friends. And it turns out, new friend found me. She was a young lady around the same age as me. One of the cousins was talking to her. By the time I was about to go and say hi, she was skated off. So I asked who she was. He just said that just some person that came over and said hi. So I was left to wonder, who is that girl? And by that time, Elijah and Zion, and Jamika and their dad came in. They were surprised at the decorations and everything that we managed to set up. So we, me and the cousins, we went to the skating rink. We went to where we pick up the skating shoes. And I made a big mistake. I went and got the inline skates instead of the pre-inline skates. So as a result, I slipped and fell plenty of times. <laughs> I was able to get my balance back with the help of the cousins. And I went and got some pre-inline skates. And while that was going on, that woman was there watching us the entire time. At some point she came and wanted to challenge me to a skating match. Keep in mind, I haven't skated in a long time. The time that I skated before Elijah's birthday party was the time I went with my brother and my cousin for a church thing. I think it was an ice skating rink though. It wasn't like full on roller skating. I figured this is a good way to get me back into the groove of things. So I said, and since she challenged me, I said, why not? So it was the young lady, myself, and the two other cousins. We roller skated. <laughs> One of them gave me pointers and commented that I sucked and I didn't pay attention to that. You know, I'm carefree and easy doing, so I always try it anyway. So we skated. The cousins were really good, but the young woman was ahead of us. And I was like a little bit at the end, but I picked up quickly. So by the time I was getting far, like she already won. So after that, we skated and we talked, we 
got to know each other. I would spend time with the young woman while the cousins were out skating. And we got to know each other. At the time, I didn't really like my name too much at first, so I just used one of my aliases, which was Dondre, by the way. And she said she knew somebody by that name, but doubts that was me, so. And she had a lot of names that she went by too. One of them I remember was Zoe, so that's how I got to meet Zoe. We talked, we skated, and pretty much because of her, I was able to learn a lot of things. Like the Soldier Boy dance.
in that moment was moment was the changing point in my life and I started focusing more on being able to go out there and find her I guess or to be able to meet her again it's to my last years of high school and then getting ready for college and all that stuff just wanted to get that story out there and there's a lot more that happens after that and I will save that for part four so I will see you guys later in part four.